So this will be a recap video for the Palantir trade. I was writing and trading this back when it was down 85% from the highs. And it made sense to put on that trade at that time when the price to sales was below 10. Price to sales reached something like seven times sales and it was starting to become profitable. It didn't make sense to me to buy Palantir when it was 40 times sales. When this stock was $40, $25, it was expensive. It didn't have earnings. It actually did not have earnings. And I will show that right now. So these are the earnings for 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. They did not justify the price. According to Gap Accounting, the actual earnings were, were even worse. So these were very tiny. They even dipped in 2022. And the 2023 was only 25 cents, which did not justify the valuation on a on this stock for it to be forty dollars so again 25 cents back in 2023 negative earnings yield it was showing it didn't go positive earnings yield till, till later in 2023 back when it already moved i'm going to show what the what the numbers would have shown somewhere around the bottom and these were the forward numbers these are already updated so they would have been slightly worse but in 2023 we would have been looking at the forward numbers and it it was looking pretty good for 2024 because the stock ended up going to six six dollars and if you looked forward, it, it could have been worth nine fifty using the future valuation of the expected thirty eight cents times twenty five. So that would have been really the only reason you would have been buying. Price to sales of seven isn't exactly a bargain, but it was starting to to become a Peter Lynch attractive valuation. So that's when the stock was attractive, fairly priced. It wasn't a steal. It wasn't a huge discounted bargain. It wasn't a Warren Buffett cigar, but nothing like that. The tangible book value, because they had cash, was at $1.97. And they, the PE at that time was still unattractive. Um, I don't know if it was like 60 or more, something like that. Um, but the, the, you wouldn't be trading it on the 2023 PE. The 2023 PE was unattractive. And then let's fast forward to today, because after this move, this is almost a 900% move from the lows, the lowest of the lows, which was, let's say, $6 to today, is almost a 900% move. Now it's a different story. From undervalued on a forward basis in 2023, to overvalued on on the current and the forward let's see 2025 a fair price might be 11 to 22 bucks and it's trading at 55 if we look at what analysts are expecting let, let's even go and look at the 2033 price the 2033 EPS is two dollars multiplied by 25 because 25 is a good is roughly the growth rate. It's a, it should be a fifty dollar stock by 2033, and it's already fifty five dollars. So if you held this stock through 2033, it's just going to roughly be about the same value that it that it is now. So now we would consider that overvalued. For 2025, 2026, a fair value. A fair value and a fair multiple might be 11, 13 bucks and is trading at 55 right now. So the major takeaway here is 
your bargain stock might give you a huge move up front and you don't you won't have to wait five years necessarily for your trade to have a massive result so buying attractive growers at fair prices is is a good deal because you could be rewarded early ahead of time and that's what's going on with palantir the stock is getting rewarded ahead of time the future growth is priced in now it would make sense to take most of the trade off you can always leave a small position cuz it's going to be free you're going to get palantir shares for free it's time to move on because there's so many other stocks that are basically back where where palantir was when it was 6 bucks why would you stay in something that's now overvalued for its growth when you can just do it again and odds are if it does pull back then you just look at the valuation we'll say trend and if you see that palantir is at 20 bucks again you you can do the trade all over so that is the summary for the palantir trade and it just reinforces the fact that if you find a quality grower and you can get it at a fair price be motivated that good things can happen to your position faster than you expect cheers